today we're going to be making a pendant from Shrink Art Film. I was sent a sample pack of shrink film from Graphics, and I had never seen metallic shrink film before. This is a pack of six sheets. It comes with three silver and three gold. Um, so what I have in front of me here is a piece that I have already cut down. Now it typically is going to shrink to about half its size. So um, I have my film here and one side feels a little bit smoother than the other and so I'm going to put the smooth side down. I have a fun little stamp here and it is, let's see what brand is this, it is Impression Obsession. And then I have some stays on ink that I'm going to stamp onto my piece. And then let me just put a scrap paper down here. This way. Checked out my stamp first. I'm just going to put a scrap underneath it because I want to stamp off the edges. And then we're going to round the corners, poke a hole in it with a, um, a hole punch. And then I have my corner rounder here. Um, I know it's a name brand. I don't see the name on it though. Um, and so then we're going to stick it in our oven, which is behind me. I have a toaster oven heating up. So let's just begin by opening up our stays on ink. And remember, this is going to shrink down. So I want to ink this up really well. Nice coverage on my stamp. And then I'm going to stamp it onto my shrink art plastic and just hold it there in place it's going to sit right on top of the surface okay now it's going to dry pretty quick we do not want to move it around or have it slide on us so the fact that the ink is a little bit sticky is really nice I'm going to see if I can stamp this three times on here. Oh, that was my oven heating up behind me. All right. And then I'm going to try to get the, the stem, I guess, over here. All right, so that's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna give it a second here to dry and then just put my cover back on my ink. All right. And it should dry pretty quick, I think. Yeah, that should be good. All right, now we're gonna take my corner rounder here. Now you want to round these corners beforehand because it's going to be nice and thick afterwards and any of these pointed corners will be sharp. Okay, so especially since we're going to wear this, I thought it would be nice to round those off first and then I am just going to eyeball the middle for a hole here and give that a punch all right so that's what it looks like I am going to put it in my oven on parchment paper that was part of the instructions so I'm going to go stick it in my toaster oven and then I will come back and show it to you after it has shrunk so here is our piece of gold shrink plastic after shrinking and um, I wish I could have shown it to you I don't have a great light on my oven um, so that you can see inside of it I actually have to turn the light on my phone so I can see what's happening but here you can see how nice the rounded edges are you can see how much smaller the whole piece is um, compared to the original stamp um, hopefully you get a sense of how much that shrunk. Um, I don't remember if I told you the instructions say to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, um, which I did, and I put it in on the parchment paper like I told you I would, and um, it 
unlike other shrink plastic, and I don't know um, if this was just unique to mine, but it didn't really curl up and then flatten out again. It just kind of, um, I guess I would say compressed into a smaller size. And you can see that it has some thickness to it. So now this piece is done and ready and you could use it just like this. I'm going to take it one step further and I am going to put uh, UV resin on top of this. So um, I am just going to take my bottle here and apply the resin and kind of try to get a bubble on top if I can. And then just use the nozzle here to move it around. Now this will not harden until I expose it to UV light. So it could sit outside in the sun or it could go under a lamp. And I have the lamp. So here is my finished pendant um, and the resin is cured by the light. I am actually going to set this off to the side and let it sit for 24 hours before I work with it just to make sure that my resin isn't soft or that I dent it in any way. But that really turned out really nice. And the, I mean, how simple was that to just use some black ink on um, gold shrink plastic? That was really, really nice and really pretty.